Hello friends, I have come with a new video on buzzword schemes. In my earlier videos, I have already explained about what is buzzword, then different types of buzzword schemes like single buzzword scheme, then single buzzword with sectionalizer, then single main and transfer buzzword scheme, then double buzzword scheme. In this video, I have explained about double main come transfer buzzword scheme and also double main and transfer buzzword scheme. Before I explain how this double main and transfer buzzword scheme works, let us see how this double main and double main come transfer buzzword scheme is different from double main buzzword scheme. We can see in this type of buzzword scheme, the number of isolators used per feeder is 4. Two isolators are used to connect the feeder to either of the buses and one isolator is used as line isolator and another isolator which is extra isolator from double main buzzword scheme that is used as transfer isolator. Now let us see how this buzzword scheme works. From the figure if we observe the color of the equipments that is circuit breaker and isolator we will be able to understand that feeder number 1 from the left hand side is connected to bus 1 and the remaining feeders that is feeder 2, 3 and 4 are connected to bus 2 and both the buses are connected to each other through bus coupler. Now suppose there is a fault in bus 1. So because of fault in bus 1 the circuit breakers which are connected to bus 1 that is the circuit breaker of feeder 1 and bus coupler will open as to isolate the bus 1 and clear the fault and if the fault is persistent in that case we can connect the feeder to the other bus and run the feeder normally so how we can do that we'll see first we'll isolate the faulty bus for doing that we'll open the bus isolator which was connecting the feeder number one to bus one after opening the bus isolator we shall connect the other bus isolator which will connect the feeder 1 to bus 2. When the feeder number 1 gets connected to bus 2, we can again close the circuit breaker of feeder 1 and bring back the feeder 1 to service by connecting all the feeders to bus 2. In that situation, the substation or the buzzbar of the substation will act as a single buzzbar scheme. Now let us see how this buzzword scheme works in case of fault in a circuit breaker. So let us go to the previous condition of feeder number 1 getting connected to bus number 2 and all other feeders are connected to bus 1 and running normally. In such case when there is a fault in circuit breaker of the feeder number 1, feeder will trip immediately. If the circuit breaker is faulty so the faulty circuit breaker is to be isolated. For isolating the faulty circuit breaker, we will have to open the isolators on either side of the circuit breaker first. So both the isolators on the either side of the circuit breaker will be opened manually. And for connecting the feeder to the system, we will have to close manually the transfer isolator of the feeder. So the transfer isolator of the feeder will connect the feeder to the bus number 1 that will act as transfer bus now. For connecting the feeder to the system, we will have to close the transfer bus coupler. By connecting the transfer bus coupler, the feeder will be connected to the system by connecting the bus number 1 which is acting as transfer bus now and that transfer bus will be connected to the main bus through this transfer bus coupler. Hence, in this situation, the substation or the buzzword of the substation will act as a main and transfer buzzword system. Hence, by using this buzzword scheme, because of some buzzword fault also, all the feeders can be kept into service by connecting all the feeders to the other buzzword. And also, in case of any circuit breaker fault, the feeders may connect it to the system through bus coupler. But the main drawback of this system is both types of fault cannot be accommodated together that is in case of both types of fault in the substation 
that is bus fault as well as any circuit breaker fault some of the feeders will be out this type of double faults can be taken care of by another kind of bus bar scheme that is called double main and transfer bus bar scheme in double main and transfer bus bar scheme the number of isolators used per feeder is four and there is one extra bus bar used that is known as transfer bus and the other two buses are known as bus 1 and bus 2 or two main buses are used and for connecting the transfer bus to the main buses there are three numbers of isolators used with one number transfer bus coupler circuit breaker in this type of bus bar scheme both types of faults that is bus bar fault as well as any circuit breaker fault can be taken care of together that is in case of bus bar fault and any feeder circuit breaker fault all the feeders can get connected to the bus bar and run smoothly